Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is Okumura and Hatta models. We will be solving few numericals related to these two models. It is the topic from the subject cellular networks. Isse pehle maine har ek topic ke liye video banaya hai. Uh, the topics which I want to elaborate, I am going to make few new videos related to this. So, uh, in the today's session, we will be discussing how to solve the numericals based on Okumura and Hatta models. Before that, we will derive an important uh, relationship that is the relationship for least square estimate. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this, derive the relationship for least square estimate or derive the expression for channel estimation. This is also called a channel estimation. As I have told you, I have made a channel estimation for this channel estimation. I have made a detailed video. Bana hai. Please do watch that video. Presently, we are talking about the derivation. Let us brush up the things what we have studied in channel estimation video. Uh, estimation means taking judgment, doing some calculations in advance. So, recall the notations. X is denoted by uh, X is represented as input. Y stands for output and H represents channel coefficient. We have to do the calculation of estimation of channel coefficients. So the definition is channel estimation means the process of calculating channel coefficients that means value of H at the wireless receiver. That means in case of mobile communication which is a wireless system. We know that to obtain the estimation, we need to make use of pilot or training symbols. We have already learned this concept. A known symbol sent karte receiver ko. These are called pilot symbols or training symbols. Receiver already knows this symbol. So receiver gets trained how to estimate, how to do the calculation of channel coefficient. Iske baad, matlab ye training complete hone ke baad, we will be applying the unknown data. So, this is uh, the system in which we are going to apply pilot or training symbols to estimate the channel coefficients. The transmitted symbols, if you pilot uh, symbols send kar rahe ho receiver, ko, uh, then the transmitted symbols are denoted by x, p of 1, x, p of 2, x, p of 3. This p uh, letter stands for, it is representing pilot or training symbols. Then if these symbols are sent passed through the channel, channel means it is a wireless system because we are talking about a mobile system that is a cellular network. Then received symbols are denoted by YP of 1, YP of 2, up to YP of L. Again, Y stands for received symbols, P stands for pilot symbols. Now, the general expression is y of k is equals to h of x of k plus n of k. This is the general expression to calculate the output at the receiver. y of k represents output, h represents channel coefficient, x of k this term represents input and n of k represents the noise channel coefficient. Very simple from this equation, this output which is obtained at the receiver contains h times input signal h is the channel coefficient that means input symbol is getting multiplied with uh, channel coefficient and noise is getting added since noise is added y of k cannot be equals to h into x of k because of this addition of noise signals so this generalized expression if we have pilot symbols sent or training symbols sent kare, so corresponding notation very small changes here letter P is used just to represent it is the equation uh, used for uh, pilot symbol. So YP of K is H of XP of K plus N of K. Now H cap of K, ye jo symbol hai, H cap of K, H is the channel coefficient jiska hume estimate calculate karna hai. Estimation matlab in simple language it is a judgment. We have to take the judgment what could be the corresponding values of the channel coefficient. So the estimation of H is denoted by H cap. Now we will H cap derive karne ke liye, ek rule use karenge, that is minimizer of cost function. So according to this rule minimizer of cost function estimation of H that is H cap is given by summation 
from k is equals to 1 to l y p of k minus h x p of k bracket square. यहाँ पे ये जो टर्म है समेशन एंड दिस टर्म y p of k minus h x p of k bracket square this is also denoted by zeta h ये जो सिंबल है इसको zeta बोलते हैं zeta of h which is also called observation error. अब ये error minimize करना है हमें observation error should be ideally zero तो ये मिनिमाइज करने के लिए मैथमेटिकल टेक्निक सिंपल अवेलेबल है टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दैट एंड इक्वेट द रिजल्ट टू जीरो सो वी विल बी डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस इक्वेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू h डू रिमेंबर हम लोग h के साथ डेरिवेटिव ले रहे हैं तो समेशन रिमेंस एज इट इज ये ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर है सो इट बिकम्स टू टाइम्स दिस टर्म इनसाइड द ब्रैकेट एज इट इज y p of k minus h x p of k टू यहां पे आ गया क्योंकि हम लोग डेरिवेटिव ले रहे हैं एंड डेरिवेशन डेरिवेटिव इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू h तो यहां पे h का टर्म है इट इज गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद x p of k सो दिस इक्वेशन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस बिकम्स टू टाइम्स दिस टर्म इनटू x p of k नाउ इक्वेट दिस टर्म इक्वेट दिस टर्म टू जीरो हम लोगों ने अभी अभी डिस्कस किया कि मैक्सिमम का ऐसे सोच लो मैक्सिमम कंडीशंस के लिए हमेशा डेरिवेटिव लेते हैं एंड वी आर सपोज टू टेक दैट आंसर ऑफ डेरिवेटिव वी आर सपोज टू इक्वेट आंसर ऑफ डेरिवेटिव टू जीरो तो हम लोगों ने डेरिवेटिव लिया एंड वी वांट टू इक्वेट इट टू जीरो दिस इज फॉर मैक्सिमम कंडीशन और अनदर वे टू मिनिमाइज द ऑब्जर्वेशन एरर मैक्सिमम आउटपुट मींस मिनिमम ऑब्जर्वेशन एरर तो ये जो इक्वेशन है ये इक्वेशन आई एम गोइंग टू इक्वेटेड टू जीरो तो आर एच एस में जीरो लिख दिया अब बहुत सिंपल लॉजिक है ये ये टू कॉन्स्टेंट है इट इज गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद एंटायर टर्म सो दिस टू इफ आई विल ट्रांसफर एट द आर एच एस दिस गेट्स कैंसल सो आई एम डिलीटिंग दिस टू अब ये एक्स पी ऑफ के ये बाहर है ब्रैकेट के सो इट विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ईच टर्म तो हर एक टर्म की आई मीन दिस टर्म आई विल बी ट्रांसफरिंग इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सो इट बिकम्स वाई पी ऑफ के इन टू एक्स पी ऑफ के माइनस एच क्या एक्स पी ऑफ एक्स पी ऑफ के इंटू एक्स पी ऑफ के दिस बिकम्स ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू जीरो इससे डायरेक्टली हम लोग इक्वेशन लिख सकते हैं सी वी वांट इक्वेशन ऑफ एच कैप सो दिस टर्म इफ आई विल ट्रांसफर दिस टर्म एट द आर एच एस ये पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा उसके बाद ये जो टर्म है डू रिमेंबर ये सब समेशन के अंदर है ये टर्म फिर दूसरे से ट्रांसफर करेंगे सो एच कैप इज समेशन वाई पी ऑफ के माइनस एक्स पी ऑफ के मतलब ये टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय जैसे मैंने बताया आर एच एस में ट्रांसफर करेंगे और एच कैप का इक्वेशन ऑप्टेन करेंगे डिवाइडेड बाय दिस सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ एच कैप दैट इज दिस गिव्स रिलेशनशिप फॉर लिस्ट स्क्वायर एस्टिमेशन नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल द गिवन प्रॉब्लम इज फाइंड टोटल पाथ लॉस एंड मेडियन रिसीव्ड पावर यूजिंग ओकोमोराज मॉडल For D, that is distance four zero forty kilometers AMU. This is the gain factor related to Okumura model, which is forty uh, one dB. HTE uh, is the height related to uh, this uh, base station antenna of base station. HRE related to mobile antenna height gain, which is ten meters. If EIRP, we know that EIRP is effective isotropically radiated power for base station is one kilowatt at nine hundred megahertz. This is the given frequency, nine hundred megahertz. And G area, this G area term is related to the environmental gain, which is given as a nine dB. अब देखो कोई भी न्यूमेरिकल है वो हमारा मॉडल से रिलेटेड तो ये सेट है फॉर्मूला का. This is more than sufficient to solve any numerical. So First, we will calculate the free space path loss. Look at the formula. It is L F is minus ten log of lambda square upon four pi square d square. Lambda is the wavelength. First, we will calculate the wavelength lambda. We know the standard formula. Lambda is c by f. Lambda is the wavelength. C is speed of light. F is the corresponding frequency. We have the speed of light c that is three into ten raised to eight. Divided by given frequency is nine hundred megahertz, so it is nine hundred into ten raised to six. So value of lambda will be one by three. This is the value of lambda. Now make use of this formula of LF free space path loss minus ten log of lambda square upon four pi square d square. So it is minus ten log of Lambda square that means one by three bracket square divided by four 
pi bracket square into d square. d is the given distance that is 40 kilometers. So into 40 kilometers that is 40 into 1000 square. So this value of path loss will be uh, 123.5678 and this value will be in decibels. This is the equation of the, I mean, this is the value of the path loss. We have to calculate base station antenna gain that is G H T E, G of H T E. So we have a ready made formula G of H T E is equals to look at the formula 20 log H T E upon, uh, upon 200. Uh, this is base station antenna gain. H T E is height of the antenna used at base station. So it is 20 log of given value of H T E is 100 meters. 100 upon uh, upon 200 so if you solve this you will get value of uh, g h t e which is equals to minus 6 db then g of h r e that is mobile antenna height gain so this is equals to 20 log of look at the formula 20 log of h r e upon 3 value of HRE is given in the question that is 10 upon 3. Again, if you solve this, this value will be 10.4575 dB. This is the value of G of HRE. Now let us calculate total path loss. Total path loss is L50 is equals to LF plus AMU minus G of HT minus G of HRE minus G area. As I said, G area is the gain relate, related to environmental changes. So, I will be simply putting the values in this formula. So, L50 that is total path loss will be LF. LF, this value we have already calculated. So, it is 123.5678 value of LF. Then AMU, this is given in the question. So, it is 41 db minus g of hte this is minus 6 so it becomes plus 6 minus this value 10.4575 g of hre minus g of area that is 9 db if you solve this then this answer of l50 will be 151.1103 this is the answer of l50 now to calculate the last part that is median received power, we have the formula EIRP minus L50. L50 we already calculated. EIRP is given by 20 log of power in watts. So first we will calculate EIRP. EIRP is 20 log of given power. Look at the given specifications. Uh, given power is 1 kilowatt. We need to convert it into watts. That means it becomes 1000 watts. So 20 log of 1000. This will give you value of uh, EIRP. So that is 60. And simply we will put the values in the equation of PR of D. That is this median residue power EIRP minus L50. That is 60 minus 151.1103. So median residue power will be minus 91.04. This is the way to solve the numericals as far as this Okumura model is. Next problem, compute median loss for large city by considering Hatta model at a distance of 3 kilometers. So D is given as 3 kilometers with carrier frequency of 2.1 gigahertz. This is the given carrier frequency. Do remember in case of Hatta model you have to convert the frequency in megahertz. We know that giga means 10 raised to 9, mega means 10 raised to 6. So given value, agar gigahertz mein, 2.1 uh, gigahertz, usko mega mein convert karne ke liye, isko 10 raised to 3 se multiply karenge. So 2.1 into 10 raised to 3, that is 2100 megahertz. So this is the carrier frequency with transmitting and receiving antenna gains. 20 meter and 2 meters respectively. So for transmitter, HT is 20 meter, HRE is 2 meters. Now, two formula like the Hatha model. First formula, 
we need to calculate correction factor that is a of h r e this formula is applicable when fc carrier frequency is greater than or equals to 300 megahertz so look at the frequency it is 2100 megahertz which is quite large than 300 megahertz so this formula we will use so first calculation correction factor that is a of h r a direct formula is put values put karne. so it is 3.2 then log of 11.75 11.75 into h r e value of h r e is 2 bracket square minus 4.97 so if you solve this answer of this correction factor will be 1.045 and unit is db this is the answer of correction factor second we will calculate the median loss that is given by l urban so this is l urban again we have the ready-made formula which is equals to 69.55 plus 26.16 log fc minus 13.82 log hte minus a of hre plus 44.9 minus 6.55 log ht into log of d do remember ye jo d hai ye kilometer mein hi rakhna hai meter mein convert nahi karna hai so i will be putting the value 69.55 plus 26.16 log of fc it is log of 2100 we need to take the value of fc in megahertz minus 13.82 log of hte value of ht is 20 log of 20 minus a of hre which we already calculated 1.045 uh, plus 44.9 minus 6.55 log of hte that is hte is 20 log of 20 uh, and this bracket is getting multiplied with log d d is the distance which is log 3 so if you solve this the answer of this l urban or l will be 154.79 db so this is the answer of uh, median loss using hatha model so this is the way i mean it, the numericals are pretty simple they are directly formula based so this is the way to solve the numericals as far as this sata model is concerned so that's it for today's session thank you thanks a lot for watching this video